Welcome. Today, we'll be going over the dashboard. So, what is the dashboard? The dashboard is a snapshot of all the valuable metrics in the form of graphs and charts. It accumulates information for all your devices and provides you with a summary. The dashboard shows both live information, such as how many of the units are online and offline, how many are moving and parked, and historic information for a specified period, such as mileage of your fleet, fuel consumption, etc. We'll go into more detail shortly. To navigate to the dashboard, first go to the Monitoring tab, and then select the Dashboard sub-tab. Keep in mind that you have two options on the Monitoring tab now, List and Dashboard. List is the sub-tab which shows the map and the list of all units. You are already familiar with this part of Wayland from our previous tutorials. Note that if you have access to 100 units, then the dashboard will automatically open up upon logging into the platform. The Dashboard sub-tab is customizable. To open the Configuration panel, select the menu button by clicking on the three dots in the top right corner. There, you will see the configuration options. You can either reorganize the blocks by selecting the vertical arrows and dragging them up or down. The layout of the dashboard is totally up to you depending on which block is more important for your business. You can also add and remove blocks by selecting the checkbox to the left of the panel's name. As said in the beginning, some dashboard panels provide live data while others give historical data. As you can see below, there are four blocks which show live data. Connection state shows how many of your units are online offline so you can easily understand how many of the devices are active and quickly spot an error and troubleshoot accordingly. Motion state shows the summary of all your unit's motion. There are seven types, stationary and stationary with ignition on for units that are not moving, moving and moving with ignition for those units that are moving. LBS status for those units which catch zero GPS signal but were configured to report to the location of the closest cellular base station. No actual state and no coordinates for units which did not report any data for a long time. Mind that this time period is determined by the admin user. Geofence with units shows how many of your units are inside or outside of a particular geofence. For example, if you need to make sure that all units are outside or inside a specific area, this is a handy tool to quickly get an overall view and avoid violations. And latest notification blocks show the real-time data on all new notifications received from the moment you logged into the platform. The next set of blocks are a little different, as these are based on historic data. Keep in mind that these panels display information based on one-week data by default. You can choose the time period in the quick date menu. Today, yesterday, week, month. Just click the corresponding button to see the data, or a specific interval. Choose the start and end date and click show. There are three panels for this type. The mileage shows the mileage of your units. Mileage and fuel consumed are both interactive line charts and can support up to 10 units. You can customize both by clicking on the edit sign and choosing which units you want to see. You can see the total number of units on this page. Fuel consumed by FLS or fuel level sensor graph shows fuel consumption according to the select time period. Again, you can customize it by clicking on the edit sign. Speeding blocks display information about total speedings and the speeding of each individual unit. Speeding violations are calculated based on posted speed limits. The speed panel is not customizable in the regular sense, but you are able to filter violations by overages from 1 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 40, and greater than 40 miles over the speed limit. Please keep in mind that live blocks will always show the current status of the devices and will remain unaffected by any input you do to the historic blocks. Congratulations and thank you for completing our tutorial on the dashboard sub-tab. I hope by now you feel a little more at ease when operating through our platform. To further extend your knowledge of our platform, check out our other video tutorials. I'll see you next time.